Hello, my name is Jeremy with Activate, and this video is going to show you how to create a sales quote. We are going to begin by creating a sales quote from the customer list. To get to your customer list, you select Customer over on the left, or go to Customer, Customer List. Once you've chosen your customer from this window, you have the option to change your shipping address if you have multiple ship twos. Once you've chosen your correct ship to, select Create, Sales Quote. You can also create a sales quote by selecting the Sales Quote button here, or going up to Sales, Enter Sales Quote. If you choose one of those two options, you'll first need to select the New button, or hit Control in on your keyboard, and then search the customer you want to create a sales quote for. Make sure your terms and your branch are set because those are required field for our sales quote. All right, next we'll add products to the sales quote. If you select this field here and hit F4, the search box will pop up, or you can select the three dots here, and your product list will appear. From this window, you have the option to select your warehouse and search by warehouse, search by item type, product type, or product class, or you can just begin typing in your item. You can search by product ID, alternate product ID, description, customer product ID, and you'll notice as I start typing, any product with the letter A in it will appear in the search field. When you find the product you need, double click it. Verify that the warehouse listed is the one being shipped out of. This will default based on the branch when a default warehouse is assigned to it. If no default is set on the branch, the first warehouse assigned to the product in alphabetical order will appear. Change the quantity if you need to. You can change the unit of measure, case, each dozen if that is set up. If you need to add or change a price code, you can do so from here. If you need to override the price, you can override the price. If you want to add a percentage off that's outside of the list price or any price code set up, you can do so here. You have the option of adding multiple special instructions if you need to. And you have a reference you can add in. You can also add a non-standard product, drop ship, special order, miscellaneous charge, and note. You want to make sure that all other required details are entered. Things you might want to take into consideration. Your shipping service, your ship via, an expected date. And to enter a whole order discount, you add the amount or percent to the discount field below the subtotal. When your sales quote is finished, select Save. You have the option to print or email the quote to your customer. If the customer accepts a quote and is ready to purchase, sales quotes can be converted to a sales order by changing the status of the quote to scheduled. And to do that, you simply select Schedule Order. And now your quote has been turned into a sales order. That's all we have for today. Thank you. Have a great day.